Okay, let's have a little bit of fun here. I'm going to start this little experiment by extruding some filament. So this is, um, this is heated up to 240. I'm using this E-Sun hips, which I have been using forever. Um, and as you can see, it's oozing out there. So I'm going to hit extrude again, and I'm going to go quickly turn the tool heater off. I'll just pull that out. So that should be all primed and ready to go. That's what it looks like on the top. No, no marks from the um, extruder. All right, so now I'm going to start let me start a print. Now this is with the default Cura start code in the current version. So you can see we had a home and then a move here. And now we're waiting on temperature. Since I had preheated the hot end here in order to extrude, it's a little too hot, so it's got to get down to 170. All right, now we can see this is doing the 30 millimeter retract. You can see it does it nice and slowly. Now you should be able to see the tooth marks coming out on the bottom. Okay, and now I'm going to do a wipe. This home's right on the edge there. That kind of makes me nervous, but Let's see if that changes. Or if there's a setting I can change. It does succeed. move after this home. So we had we had the uh, the XY bed home and then the move to this weird parking spot in the corner but no change in Z height. So it used to be in the old start code there was a Z mut so there was a Z10 there so it would go up a bit although I guess that's some sort of a problem. So um, it's a little, it still makes me a little nervous that it just did the home. It's sitting, I don't know how far above that washer and then it does a bed home. Um, obviously it's not making contact at that point so everything's okay, but still. Okay, now we're just waiting to hit the print temperature and then this will be the key part where I've been experiencing this issue the filament is meant to extrude 30 and go back. See, that's the thing right there. That's all it did. Just bzzzed. And the uh, filament did not go back in, as you can see. So, it's going to start my print with 30 millimeters of retraction, and there's just no way, unless they did an absolutely ridiculously large skirt. The lighting's not great in here, but it's very obvious to me from looking at it. Um, and also, I think you can tell from just a fraction of a second there that the motor ran, that that was not extruding 30. So, 
<laughs> anyway, that's the point where I give up. And I'll try this again with the new firmware and see if that fixes these issues. Now let's do the same test as before. I've just upgraded the firmware. So this version is 11564. This is the current publicly released one. There is a newer one after this, which I'll probably try as well, but I wanted to just get this on record. So again, we're at 240. Everything's fully primed, as you can see, extruded. I'm gonna turn this heat off just to minimize the dripping. And I'll go in here and I will start my print. Here we go. Let's watch carefully. Bed homing, we've got that move. Looks kind of the same as before. All right, the traction is happening. Same exact thing as before. Start to see the tooth marks now. Just gonna change my grip on the phone here so I can be ready to hit the power if something's wrong with the new firmware. Don't want to damage my machine. Start the bed leveling. It was pretty much the same as before. I did that same uh, bed homing X Y, and then a move to the corner ish. Definitely some speed changes here in the homing sequence. Doesn't seem to be particularly. Dramatic, but the sound is, you know, you get so used to the exact behavior that the slightest difference in the sound, it just feels different. Okay, now again. Over there, bed home, and then the little jog into the corner. I mean, it's already in the corner, but I think the comment says something like move away from I don't remember what the comment said. It'll be on the screen in the video anyway. So now I'm watching this carefully because last time I was talking about this when it <clears throat> started to execute the next portion. So I'll keep the camera right here. You can see the filament. You can see the marks on it, hopefully. Which gives a good visual reference for whether it moves in or not. We're up to 205. I mean, in theory, the E0 should return to the exact same place it was before, so it should, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of dust down here. It should go in 30 millimeters. The feed rate is slow, so it should be pretty obvious, but there we go. Ah, okay, that definitely, definitely, completely different. That went right in 30 millimeters, boom, done. Problem solved, so. That was definitely an aspect of the firmware I had previously. Don't remember the version number off the top of my head, but um, it seems like with that firmware, the combined Z and E move doesn't really take effect. So this is great. This is going to uh, make me much happier. So, now that it's working, I guess that's all I had to say. Mystery solved. I'm gonna make me a fish. <laughs>